Well, hello and welcome to Physics Games. Today's point of interest is cabin number 10. This is a difficulty tier 1 POI and can be obtained from the trader for a clear or fetch quest. Oh, you're there! Ooh! Oh, where did he go? How did he get around me? So here we have cabin number 10. Quite an elusive POI, can only be found in the wilderness, and it's a little bit odd inside with a unique feature that I don't normally see in POIs, and that's completely blocked paths. It's got a lovely kind of like using a little fencing here as a nice little walkway at the front here. I quite like the look of that. I might have to use that in one of my base builds at some point. It all seems to be boarded up here, and as we go round, we find a bit of wood at the back and uh, a locked door. But this little area here, oh, what's that? A bit of trash. Can't beat the trash. A uh, little glass jar. Get them in Alpha 20 whilst you can. And in here, there are no zombies or anything. It's only, as I say, a little tier one. But we have some corn, some oil, and uh, that is about it. So why is this useful? Well, it can be found all over the place. If you ever find this in the, uh, if you're stuck out in the wasteland and you come across it, it's, it's an easy enough clear. And actually, I've used it as a little kind of like um, emergency base in whilst all hell's breaking loose overnight there. But uh, um, as long as you crouch and you stay well out of uh, sight and uh, all of that. But here we are in the main room, and there's no one ever in here, um, which is quite interesting. And uh, we've got uh, some nice little bit of loot here. Notice the slight discoloration or difference in these blocks here. This is important later, because uh, this is the funny thing about the POI. This is where we'll exit. You actually, to exit, you have to break through an actual block to get out of there which is which is an interesting one so two locked doors here bit of wood bit of coal bit of cloth nothing much and then we jump through into the kitchen and uh, we can see that there are some zombies here is one ready to wake up here and i'm sure there's some in that cupboard too but let's have a look at the kitchen very quickly bits of old trash and cupboards and all the kind of normal business that we get here two sinks which is nice very nice to have two of those more chance of getting that acid and uh, possibly a little uh, refrigerator as well but there we go just your standard little kitchen there very nice no coffee or anything uh, no microwave we are definitely out in the wilderness so let's nip into here and let whoever's whoa whoa whoa, whoa lady whoa 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 lady um and if you came out oh you're there Ooh! oh where did he go how did he get around me anyway no idea but anyway he did and uh yes somebody comes out of there a bit of trash on top oh my golly gosh a uh, bit of clothes pile on here uh, that's nice, a bit of a leather poncho too. Of course, we've got all the normal things. We can take these things apart, and uh, there's nothing underneath here, unfortunately. But we keep on going, and uh, we find, all a bookcase. Often when you come in here, these are completely empty, but nice to see a bookcase today with just a piece of paper in it. Um, and there we go. Then you come in here, and this is where it gets interesting, because you can't get into the toilet here. It's all locked. So you come out of here, and you're like, what's going on? But boom! Out of this secret little bit comes some kind of dude. So we're going to slicey dicey his face off, grab what's in the bin here, and then we're going to follow this round. I love this kind of idea of little spaces behind. It's quite cool, isn't it? And we kind of nip round here and we nip round here. And then what happens? Oh, then we can get through that door and we can find the toilet itself uh, or the bathroom. And if we open this up, we get some murky water, a weapons bag, which is lovely. Uh, getting, oh, it's still knuckles. Blech. Then never use them. Uh, in fact, should we just should we dry them? Should we try them? I never use them. I say that and then I have stupid ideas like going around punching people. Let's try it. I don't know. So we're going to go down here and find some nasties. Uh, who is down here? We've got some barrels here. It looks quite big and uh, crazy. Um, I think this just loops round. One. Someone's going to wake up. There's a final loot. Which way are you coming? Which way are you coming? Here you are, lady. Right. Take some of this. Take some of that. Uh, take that out. Okay. They aren't half bad. Maybe I should do a playthrough with the... Uh, with fists at some point. I thought there'd be more down here. Surely there's somebody else in this area. No, there isn't. Okay, so we've got lots of stuff to discover. But if you have a look here, there's a ladder. There's 100 hit point deals. And if you come up here, well, you can kind of come back out. And here we are. 
We're back in this area here. I didn't see those shoes there before, did I? Some nice little shoes, bit of rubbish behind there. But let's go back down quickly and have a look at all this final area. Quite a nice big space. Somewhere you can hide and uh, away from all those zombies and make into quite a nice little area. A little workbench, some trash, hiding about, a few plastics to be had. Very nice. Bit of cobble, a food pile. Only small, but, you know, it's all better than nothing. A toolbox for me today, which is nice. They can still hear me. I'm just going to check on top of these uh, little shelves here. Uh, is this shelf? Yes, that one is untouched and available. We have a washing machine. Very cool. And we have a little tumble dryer as well. So all the kind of little normal things that we get. And then the final, final loot. I wonder if they're going to make it down to us. That'll be quite interesting. And here it is. So we've got an ammo pile. Um, and a few lovely little uh, magnum bullets there. Some pears. They are coming down, aren't they? We've got a savage country box, which we can uh, get a few parts from. And the final loot in this tier one, and that is pretty nifty. Some military boots, tier six. Oh, <laughs> they sell for a good pretty penny, don't they? Now, here they are. Interestingly, uh, they're getting a little bit stuck here, which is nice. I wonder, oh, that's a nice little glitch, isn't it? What if I stand here? Oh, they do come down. They do come down. But that would... Hmm. What if that's exploitable? Quite interesting. Smack for you, smack for you, and then a boom! Oh, I like that, because that right click really smacks and What a beauty. But anyway, there we go. Uh, a lovely little um, POI. There's nothing hiding up on these rafters anywhere. I have checked all those out. But this is cabin number 10. Something you're only going to find in the middle of absolutely nowhere. So again, have you come across this? Have you ever used this POI? Have you ever found a random businessman trying to get into a wilderness cabin? Well, I don't... Ah! Don't miss. Boink. Oh, they're nice. They're actually nice. I don't like them in my face when I'm walking about. I don't like seeing all these knives and things right in my... I don't like that. I don't know why. They kind of get in my way. But uh, when they smack, they smack, don't they? Love it. So there we go. The beautiful deal that is Cabin 10. Let me get rid of all that hub business and then get into God mode so we can fly up here and have a nice look round. Nothing on the roof, as I say. Nothing hiding in all of these little rafter bits. Nothing like that. But it's quite neat. It's got a lovely bunker. Totally convertible. But you will, of course, be a long way away from the trader, wouldn't you? So... Hmm, is that worth it? No idea, but this is the Physics Playground. This is where you're going to find videos. We're reviewing every POI, however big and however small. We're going to learn them all here on the channel. So why not join my lovely supporters in nipping over to Discord or clicking all the lovely buttons, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Goodbye!